I was really disappointed that chemotherapy meant I was going to lose my hair. I was very self-conscious about being the only nine-year-old I knew who didn't have hair. But right about that time, 18 of my friends one day came over to my house, boys seven, eight, nine years old, and they all shaved their heads in my backyard. They had a head shaving party. One of those boys was named Brian, and Brian's dad later told me that up until that point in his life, Brian had always worn his hair long over his ears because he was self-conscious about them. He thought that his ears stuck out, that kids would make fun of him. But when I was diagnosed with cancer, he decided to shave his head. Brian's dad told me that story a couple years ago after Brian was killed in Afghanistan. And I'll never forget Brian. I'll never forget that, you know, even as a child, he wanted to make that sacrifice. Like, think about that. He was willing to feel more self-conscious about the way that he looked so I would feel less self-conscious about the way that I looked. That's the kind of friend that Brian was. What kind of friend are you? How will people remember you when you're gone?